guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today, once again, we're catching up with Alex from QS Tuning. However, today we're checking out one of his personal cars, his Stage 3 564 brake Mark 7 Golf R. The thing has had, well, a very, very long list of stuff done to it. I think over 20K of mods or something silly. It's running semi-slicks. It, it, it's it's just a monster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get Alex to remember everything that he's done to the car. Um, we'll run around it and then go and have a lot of fun. I mean, there's been a lot of golf cars on the channel lately, but this one, this one is pretty nuts. Here he is, back on the channel again. Back, it's the same day. It's, so it is the same don't day. Don't shoot me for, I don't always wear the same clothing, it's fine. <laughs> it's been a long time coming get this thing on the channel it because it's an absolute weapon. It absolute is, weapon. yeah. It's, uh, it's been through many different phases in its life. Uh, stock, did some tuning box development on it like four years ago, mm -hmm. stage one APR, stage two APR, and now as it is now, as a bit of a monster. <laughs> uh, basically, it was one of our demo cars the deal, it was almost coming to an end, decided to take it, add it to my personal collection, just done so much with this car, just couldn't let it go, absolutely love it. So as it is now, we'll start under the bonnet. <laughs> so I mean, look at this thing. currently, I mean, it's probably gonna change again soon, um, but at the moment it's running a TurboTechnic V5 big turbo, not a hybrid, this is a big turbo. Um, we've done, probably 15 or 20 cars of these turbos now running between sort of 530 to 600 horsepower depending on the setup uh, it comes with a turbotechnic intake pipe then we got the r600 intake which is just the best intake for this platform we sell hundreds and hundreds of these looks nice in oem as well then we'll stay on the racing line theme um racing line catch can kit there and there mm -hmm. uh racing line oil cooler upgraded Oil filter as well, then the lines and the oil cooler sat down there next to the radar detector. Yeah, might so be able to pick that down there. He's down there. Um, it's like race line dipstick and oil. Uh, then we've got APR coil packs on it, APR boost tap, APR intercooler, Miltec turbo back exhaust. Um, it's the resonated valved one. I didn't want this car to be noisy. It used to be non-res and just for me, it was too noisy. Um, so now, Resonated, it's, as I'm sure you'll agree, it's pretty much silent. It's not really yeah. much louder than the standard car, which is literally just how I wanted it. Um, Autotech high pressure fuel pump in here, internals in the stock fuel pump. In the back, uh, under the back seats, we've got the APR low pressure fuel pump in there as well. Um, it's running water methanol, AEM kit, 50-50. You can see the meth pipe rooting down here. What else have we got under here? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> NGK race spark plugs as well. Not much then, yeah? Yeah, it's still the stock block. The engine yeah. hasn't been opened up at all. Stock pistons, stock rods, stock valve springs. Um, so we capped the boost on it to 2.1 bar, uh, but it still makes 560 horsepower with the MEF and 620 newtons, but it's a really nice flat torque curve holding over 600 newton meters until around 6,500 RPM. So it, it boogies, it goes pretty well. Yeah. Um, MEF is controlled in the car. Um, it's got a separate ECU, it's just in the glove box. Nothing that exciting in there. We set all that up. You've got a little LED which tells you when it's working, if there's anything wrong with it at all. Then in the back, you've got the actual meth tank. Um, nice little one gallon tank in there. Doesn't take up too much boot space. You can just about see them in there, the pump mounted in there under the floor. Oh, yeah, we'll so it really doesn't take up too much space. All the wiring's all hidden underneath the rear seats and all the trims. Shut that. Miltec black tips again, same as the RS6. You can't go wrong with black tips. Nice and stealth. What should, what should we go on to now then? I think should there's wheels and the, suspension. Should we, or should we stay at the back? Should we, we can come back to it. Yeah, we can come back to that. Because I mean, to be honest, as much as there's been a lot of work done to the engine, <laughs> also a lot with the, the so wheels and suspension. This is on KW variant free coilovers. Um, brilliant coilover kit. Rides better than stock and handles absolutely brilliantly for a Golf uh, or any Audi VW, it handles excellently. Then tires and wheels, uh, OZ Super Turismo Evolutions, um, the center lock design wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. I absolutely love these tires. 
I've had these tyres on quite a few cars now and just nothing beats them full stop. Move it, 376 mil from memory, six pot, uh, forged brake kit with DS2500 pads in the front there, absolutely unbelievable brakes. Uh, RBF 660 race brake fluid, braided hoses all round on the rear of the car. <laughs> we got again, RS7 rear discs, I don't actually know what pads are in that at the moment. Uh, look like just red stuff pads in there. Usually it would have DS2500s, but it's got red stuff in there at the moment. Again, OZ Cup 2s. Uh, what else we got? <laughs> it's got h &R rear anti-roll bar on it. Powerflex front engine mount insert, which is literally, if you own an MQB car, that is the best. £29.95 plus that, the best 30 quid you'll ever spend on your car transforms the drive of the car, fills in the void nicely. Is that it or is there still more? <laughs> <laughs> EcoTune ECU software. Um, yep. So Stanwald EcoTune does pretty much all of our big power calibrations for us. Absolutely brilliant tuner. Um, you will probably remember if you know me off Instagram, I had a mental TTS. Um, that sort of started our EcoTune relationship there. It's running, we recently signed on with TVS Engineering, they're the world leader in DSG software, so it's running a custom TVS Stage 3 TCU tune on there. The TVS software is just unreal, it's out of this world. DQ250 so, so fast now, you've got Amex mode and Sport mode as well, so just the gear change is incredible on it. I think uh, that's it, isn't it? Uh, probably, yeah. yeah. Exterior-wise, uh, carbon aero kit on it. Yep. Um, carbon mirrors. Debadged on the back, so hopefully people just think it's a 1.2 Golf with a big exhaust on it. <laughs> no rear wiper, QST branding. Love it. I mean, just look at it. It's I an mean, absolute beast. Absolute beast. Yeah, then inside's <laughs> literally completely stock. Racing line billet, DSG paddles in there, which are really nice. Just give the car a high quality feel to it. It's a pretty base spec car. I mean, it's just got the cloth folding seats. And mm. Yeah, That's not that just, kind of car though, is it? It's, it's well, just the thing a, is, at the time when we bought it, it was just a demo car just to show yeah. people our tuning. So yeah. we just wanted the cheapest DSG Golf in black we could buy. <laughs> well, maybe I should buy another one. Should I've said that yeah. a lot. Make him, buy, make him buy a Club Sport or Club Sport SO. Oh. Go big power and front wheel yeah. drive. Like. You got but, me thinking now. Yeah, this thing, um, <laughs> I haven't driven it, to be honest with you, for like, well, I said, I didn't use it at all. Yeah. You got too many cars. Oh no, it's, just hard. <laughs> it's a difficult one. I've well, been speaking... it for like four and a half months. Yeah. Um, it went into work the other day for final bits of tuning and she's now back clean with all the enriched products. So it's it gleaming again. And uh, yeah, here we mm. are today on this nice Wicked. sunny Sunday. Well, speaking about driving, I think we should start it up and uh, go Everyone's and make some gonna noise. Everyone's going to be expecting big, loud bangs. Actually, yeah, it's speaking not... about noise. No, it's yeah. quiet. I... Personally, I used to love pops and bangs, but for me, this car was always going to be more of a sort of a daily driver, just doing a sort of five mile commute to work each day. Yeah. I, I didn't want it to be noisy. I didn't want it to be going bang, 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 bang the whole mm. time. I've got other stuff for that. So this yeah. is just nice and quiet. <laughs> Wicked, let's hit the road. Now we're starting things off fairly civilized because this car drives like a normal golf. Drives like when a it's not completely stock. Yeah. Like I said, this one's not noisy. If you want it noisy, you can have it noisy, you can have flames, bangs flying out of the back of it. This one is silent. Yeah, it's, silent. It drives like a standard car still, <laughs> which is what I wanted. The KW rides beautifully, the exhaust is silent. Mm. It just it's it drives, really it drives bizarre, like a stock actually. car. It drives like a completely stock Mark 7R. 
you could sort of give it to someone now and say, do you want to take it for a drive? And yeah, yeah. They leave it in eco mode or whatever, they wouldn't even know anything's been done to it, which is the nice thing about what we do and the mm. conversions that we offer. So you're saying that you've had the car now for like four years? Pretty much four, four years. years. Four years in January, it's yeah. It's been so a little bit of a journey then, isn't it? It has. Started life as a completely standard car on. Mm. I think it done like 19,000 miles. It's now yeah. just ticked over 40,000. Mm. 20,000 miles, I've pretty much done all that myself in it, to be fair. Yeah. Um, a few track days here and there, a few drag days here and there. Mm. But it hasn't really done anything as a big power car. Like all the events yeah. it went to at a stage two car, all the track work it did was at a stage two car APR. Mm. Stage two is a great place to be on these cars. 400 horsepower, 550 or newton meters of torque. It's more than enough, really. Isn't it, it? it really is, yeah. yeah. It, it's, 400 horsepower on these really is more than enough. Mm. Um, it's still quick enough to embarrass most things out on the road. Yeah, and yeah. It's a minimal cost for minimal bolt-ons, mm. really. And True, yeah. Yeah, great, absolutely great place to be on these cars. That's what we do mostly, stage two on them, to be fair. Yeah. Definitely not a normal goal. Jesus. And it stops as well. God, bloody hell, it does, doesn't it? Stops almost as quick as it goes. I can see why you're keeping this thing. <laughs> it's proper fast. It is so good. And it, that's what's good about the Golf R's, they're such a little nimble little package. Yeah. Like, they're just, they're almost... But you can feel the chassis, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. It's literally just like fighting. The Hordex system's good in it, the full mm. motion. But you can just, just feel it, yeah. just fighting for every last... That's even on semi-slicks as well. Yeah, true. Like, you can just feel it fighting for traction. I've been in a lot of golf <laughs> R's, right? A lot, and a lot recently as well. Like, I've been in like a 500 brake manual golf R a couple of weeks ago, which was awesome. But if you it's go for big ball power, game. there's this completely yeah. different ball game. I mean, it's just blisteringly quick for the DSG. And those DSG farts are almost like explosive. Yeah, they're not really farts, you don't really yeah, hear it. Yeah, it's with, just like the TVS software, they're mm. just, it's just yeah. there. It's made a quick shift quicker. Yeah, it's, it's a very fast car. It's almost like a snap. It is, Snaps yeah, it's just it like gear. banging to gear. Yeah. <laughs> you just feel it, it just grips and goes. Yeah, yeah. The, the chassis upgrades and the tyres on it. And it's nuts. It gives you so much confidence yeah. to drive it up to 60 mile an hour. A lot of people have this sort of interpretation that when you big turbo and you get a load of lag. Mm. Are you feeling a load of lag? The only thing that's lagging is my like interpretation <laughs> of what just happened. It's absolutely nuts. Anyway, buddy, I am... Um, well, I need one. I need another one. Again, another I always one. say this when I go in a big power Golf R. It's an absolute this, weapon. This is a really fast Golf R. It is a very, very fast Golf R. Well, thank you very much for taking up more of your time to, to no be worries. on the channel. It's, it's been fun. Yeah, it has. Um, Hopefully people enjoyed it. Yeah, and with the RS6 as well, there's loads more going on with that yeah, as well. Then, so, uh, uh, yeah, maybe you know, we'll do some more content with this at some mm, point as well. Yeah, well. yeah. When yeah. it's pushing the, the boundaries of 700, shall we say? 70, <coughs> just don't say that. 
<laughs> it's never going to be. Don't no, no one start emailing me saying, "Can you give me a sound?" Guys, do it. Like gold bar. <laughs> no, oh, mate. It's it's on YouTube. You can do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been a pleasure as always. But like I said, as always, I will leave your Instagram links down in the description, as well as QS's links. Why not? Seeing as uh, well, you've done all the work we yourself, have, yeah. pretty much there. Um, so yeah, that's going to wrap things up for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures. Let's go.